10 Most Dangerous Wrestling Moves Number 10. Burning Hammer The Burning Hammer, also known as the Inverted Death Valley Driver, is a devastating, head-spiking move that requires perfect execution. Unlike the attitude adjustment, the victim cannot soften the impact by rolling onto their back or shoulders and must solely rely on their arms or the wrestler's timing for protection. Kento Kabashi is the originator of the Burning Hammer. Although he only used the move seven times throughout his career, its impact was profound. The first time the move was executed, the commentator screamed in shock, which was a reasonable response given that the Burning Hammer can kill someone if performed incorrectly. Number 9. Shooting Star Press Brock Lesnar can attest to the dangerous nature of the shooting star press. Climbing on the top rope is always risky due to the height and impact, making the danger factor even higher. The margin for error in this move is incredibly small not just for the person receiving it, but also for the one executing it. Overshooting the move can result in landing on the neck, a major cause for concern. Not landing it perfectly, on the other hand, can also lead to serious injury for the person on the mat, as a direct impact on the face poses a major risk. This is why the shooting star press is referred to as the high-risk move. What the hell is this? What the hell's Lester the doing, Cole? Oh my God! Number 8. Ganzo Bomb The first ever Ganzo Bomb was performed by Tashiaki Kawada in a match against Mitsuharu Masawa, during which Kawada sustained a broken ulna on his right arm. He attempted a power bomb but failed to fully lift Misawa into position, resulting in Misawa being dropped head first. <laughs> The Ganzo Bomb was introduced just a few months after the Burning Hammer, making the start of a new era in the Japanese King's road wrestling style. Matches evolved into a series of dangerous head-spiking maneuvers as wrestlers pushed the limits of their bodies. Number 7. Buckle Bomb The Buckle Bomb is a move with a safety factor that relies on the ring's layout and the timing of the performers. If executed improperly, the full force of the impact is absorbed by the spine and neck. Popularized by WWE's Seth Rollins, the move involves finishing a powerbomb by tossing the opponent into the turnbuckle. At first glance, it might not seem much worse than the Irish whip when done right, but there have been numerous cases where it went wrong. In a brief period, wrestlers such as Finn Balor, Kairi Sane, and Sting all suffered injuries from the buckle bomb, leading WWE to ban it for safety concerns. Watching someone on the ground that I care about and idolize and they're suffering and they're scared and that's a terrifying feeling. Number 6. Styles Clash The Styles Clash is a really exciting move in wrestling, made even more impressive by the talent of AJ Styles. Despite Styles being known for executing the move safely, several wrestlers have been injured while performing it. The close proximity of the move to the neck poses a significant risk factor. Poor head placement during the move can result in serious injury. Roderick Strong and Lionheart are among those who have struggled with the Styles Clash, but the most severe injury was sustained by Yoshi Tatsu, who suffered a broken neck. Went for the Frankensteiner. Oh, oh, no, no, not a stop clash from here. Wait a minute. Styles Clash! Hit it! Oh my god. Rolls him over! Number 5. Backdrop Driver The belly to back suplex, known as the backdrop in Japan, can be a fearsome maneuver. When performed at a high angle, with the opponent landing on their head and shoulders, it's referred to as a backdrop driver. This was the signature move of Dr. Death, Steve Williams, who used it regularly to defeat his opponents. One of the most memorable uses of the backdrop driver was in a 1993 match between Steve Williams and Kenta Kobashi, where Williams shocked spectators with two backdrop drivers that sent Kobashi crashing directly onto the top of his head. <laughs> Number 4. Vertebraker Megumi Kudo is the mastermind behind the infamous wrestling move, the Kadome Valentine, more commonly referred to as the Vertebraker. This high-stakes finisher move involves the user locking their opponent's arms from behind 
and dropping them onto their back in a seated position, leaving the victim unable to protect themselves from the full impact on their neck and back. In a bid to reduce the risk of neck injuries from pile drivers, the vertebraker, also performed by Shane Helms and Homicide, has been banned by the WWE. Number 3. Phoenix Plex The bridging fallaway suplex puts the opponent in a powerbomb position and instead of dropping them forward, the wrestler bridges backward to drop the victim on their head and shoulders. The lack of control on the move compared to a traditional powerbomb or suplex increases the risk of spinal injury, especially if the wrestler executing the move is unable to perform a proper bridge. Wrestlers like Kota Ibushi and Samurai Del Sol are well known for their use of this high-risk move. Number 2. Storm Cradle Driver This move is rarely seen anywhere, and we were only able to find it performed by daring wrestlers in small independent promotions, who often are willing to take increased risks, looking for a way to stand out. It's not hard to see why it's not frequently used, with the way the neck is hooked and the neck and spine are forced into the mat, leaving no room for error or protection. Some might consider it to be the most dangerous move, but there is one that is even riskier. Number 1. Steiner Screwdriver Scott Steiner's screwdriver has undergone several changes over time. Initially, it was a modified pile driver that became even more dangerous with the addition of a jump. At one point, Steiner incorporated an overhead suplex hold before dropping his opponent head first onto the mat. This high-risk move was a staple of Scott Steiner's in-ring repertoire during the mid-90s when he used it to decimate jobbers with ease. Known for his willingness to drop opponents on their heads with moves like Frankensteiners and suplexes, the screwdriver elevated Scott's reputation as a show-stopping, crowd-pleasing wrestler. Every time he executed his impressive maneuver, audiences were left in awe. Steiner's got him up. Look at that, that strength holding him. Letting that blood rush to his head. Oh, what a pile driver! Did we miss any moves that should be on this list? Write them down in the comments and let us know. And if you enjoyed this video, subscribe to our channel to get more wrestling videos. Scotty too hotty. Woo, woo, woo. Come on.